Hi guys, it's Ben here, bright and early. It has just gone half seven on Saturday morning, the whole 10 hours before kickoff. I'm not used to leaving for home games this early. Obviously coming from London uh, to games, it is, you know, you've got to leave a few hours in advance normally, but I mean, this is 10 hours. The reason being, London Euston Station is shut, no trains to Liverpool today. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a mega bus, can you believe it? It's a throwback to my student days where one pound mega buses were, you know, the absolute savior. It's the only way I can get from A to B. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, staying overnight as well, seeing as it's a late game, I can't get back. So yeah, I mean, a lot of expense and a lot of time being spent on Liverpool at home to Brighton. But that's the sort of stuff you gotta do. I'm traveling on my own today as well. So I'm gonna be in my own little world. Let's hope for a win today. Um, going for a pretty much unchanged team and maybe one or two changes in midfield as I suggested on my preview. Um, but yeah, gotta be a good result. Up the Reds. Next train to depart from platform 18 will be the 0825 Southern service to Brighton. Calling at Brighton Dutch, East Croy, Gatton Bear, Haynes Heath, Burgess Hill. So I've made it to sunny Liverpool. Um, beautiful weather. It's nearly 3 p.m. The coast journey was, you know, pretty much six hours long. It was absolutely chucking it down at one point. I was worried about that um, going through Birmingham, but we're here. Man City have drawn at Wolves. Man City have dropped points. They've been the first to blink in this title race. Um, so I think that gives us an extra impetus today. Anyway, plan now: get to the hotel, drop my shit off, then after the match we go. Right, so I'm in Bootle, which is where I'm staying tonight. Um, that's what happens when it's a Saturday night, bank holiday weekend, then you're on your own. You know, you can't be affording these fancy city centre places and days like this. So yeah, we're in Bootle. Let's try and find this place. It's called Daniel House Apartments. Not too far away. This is our, is our accommodation for the night. How do I get into this place? Let's see what's around here. Here we are, Daniel House, the famous Daniel House. What's going on inside here? So right, to be fair, the staff are sound. Let me come in without paying a security deposit. Um, all right, let's see what my room is like. Or the apartment, I don't even know what this accommodation is like. A bit lost, to be honest. I'm on the second floor. Uh, door numbers aren't clear. Maybe I'm just being stupid. This is absolutely sound. Got a little... Uh, Dining area there, kitchen behind me. So this was 66 quid for the night. On a Saturday night in Liverpool, bank holiday weekend. Let's see what the room's like. Ah, oh, can't complain, look. Double bed. You know, the view's not to write home about, but we're not worried about that. Not trying to impress anyone here. What's the bathroom saying? It's, ah, where's the shower? Oh, there's a shower. It's a, it's one of these sort of situations. It's an all it's an all-purpose bathroom. Toilet, shower, sink, you know, nothing separating them. But that'll do me. Right, I'm changing to my match gear. Um just good Wi-Fi in this place as well. There's Sky TV, but as you can see on there, it's saying um Skybox not connected to the router. So if I can get that fixed and I can sit and watch Sky Sports all night when I get in, then this is a five fucking star hotel in my eyes. Anyway, off to the match we go. 45 minutes till team news. Quick update just as I'm leaving. I've got Sky Sports to work. I'm in dreamland. I'm in dreamland. Unchanged team today. Um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Momentum's there. Um, it's the first time for me in the cup this season. I was in hospitality last time against West Ham. So yeah, should be a good atmosphere today. Chance to go top of the league. Unchanged team. Let's do it.
Field there. I don't think any of us expected that kind of game today. Um, pure relief. Um, I came expecting a 4 0, expecting a comfortable afternoon's work or evening's work. Didn't happen that way um, for whatever reason. Um, honestly, we were so bad. I thought we were, te well, not terrible because you know we obviously kept the clean sheet. Um, the, the Henderson sub came at the right time. It was managed relatively well, but God, we were let off the hook. We were let off the hook a couple of times. Um, so yeah, a very relieved downfield. It's not a jubilant one. You'd expect us to be jubilant after three wins, three, three clean sheets, top of the league. That's not the case. Um, but yeah, let's talk about it when we get back to the apartment. Top of the league. So I'm back at the apartment now. A successful day at the office for the Reds. I have got got the KSI Logan Paul fight on here, uh, Deji vs Jake Paul about to start. I've got Sky Sports on here, I'm happy I've got a takeaway on the way. Once the boxing's over, once I've eaten, I'll talk about the game more and I'll upload this vlog. And yeah. There we go, Jake Paul there. You got my respect Deji, you got my respect. It's now time for Logan vs KSI. Here we go, KSI about to make his entrance. Well, Deji already lost to Jake Paul. Some of you might not know what I'm talking about. Most of you will. Leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. And so here comes KSI. So the KSI Logan Paul fight has just ended. And yeah, I don't know who won. I mean, I think a draw might be a possibility here. We're waiting to find out. It's a draw there, eh? Logan Paul's not happy about it. And all again. It be rematch. Here we come. Just noticed that I was on TV. I was on BT Sport, and I got to ask a question to my all-time hero, Michael Owen. I'm going to show you the evidence. Record a quick video of you talking about football and send it into at BT Sport Football. That's exactly what Ben did. And hey. here's a question from him. Here he is. Hi Michael, just on the subject of your career here, well, Liverpool no. obviously blighted by injuries, frustratingly for us fans and for you, the one at Leeds obviously being the standout one, did well, you feel like you had to rush back, did you feel pressure to get back into the team and did you feel maybe as a result of that that you played too much as a youngster? Right, there's a few questions there, <laughs> off you go. Well I think um, perception is key and... I won't play the rest of it but there you go, Michael Owen goes on to answer my question for like a long time. So, that is fantastic. Right, let's give a bit of a roundup on the game, shall we? Um, yeah, I did an Instagram Live afterwards, so if you didn't see that, you wouldn't have really known my thoughts. My thoughts are, Robertson was not quite at the races today. Um, some poor delivery, um, couldn't beat the first man at times. Defensive, sorry, defensively wasn't um, his usual self either, but... You know, still a six out of ten. It wasn't. It wasn't awful. I don't think Trent was at his best, but I'd say he was slightly better of the two. Centre backs were. God, I've got the hiccups. Centre backs were pretty good, um, solid, not too troubled. Um, bar Glenn Murray gave Gomez a couple of problems in the air, um, but overall, I mean, Van Dijk was terrific. Allison, good. That one moment of madness um, where he dived at the striker's feet after miscontrolling it. But yeah, the, the, the flicks amazing. There's a good save at the end as well. Uh, midfield was where we won the game today. Milner and Van Alden were the best two players on the pitch. Um, Cater was hooked at the right time. Henderson came on and did really well. Um, but yeah, Van Alden, man of the match. The front three, <laughs> crap to be honest. I mean, Salah was dreadful. His touch isn't still there. Um, but, you know, the, these, these first four games before the first international break, it's all about getting the points on the board um, and getting players back to fitness. 
you know, it, there's, there's always an element of that in these first few games. Um, so we didn't set the world alight, but we got three points. Mohamed Salah and Firmino were quite poor. M Mane's passing was off and he just wasn't quite um, on, on the same level that he's been on for the past couple of games. But we are where we are. On to Leicester, which is going to be a tough game. Leicester away. Um, let's see how we get on there. But we're top of the league. We're top of the league, boys. Um, subscribe to this channel if you are new and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook if you haven't already. Um, I'll be back for a Leicester preview very soon. I'm back for a live stream on Monday night um, and I'm back vlogging on Saturday with Leicester away. See you soon.